see just how many Dark Matters we can get. Now, these endgame packs do have a 28% chance at a Dark Matter. So out of 500 packs, I should get 140 Dark Matter. So if Ronnie 2K is scamming us, we're gonna know today. Let's get it, baby. All right, pack three. No Dark Matters yet, which means this one should have a Dark Matter. Ronnie, you devil. Ronnie, you dog. How did I know he was gonna scam us, bro? Five in, nothing. Hey, first Dark Matter, baby. You know, to this day, I have never pulled an endgame. I pulled Invincible Wembenyama, but I never pulled an endgame. So see if we can change that today. I think that's Marbury. Stephen Marbury? Yes, sir. So with 20 packs in a bundle, I should pull on average five Dark Matters per bundle. And this is our second Dark Matter right here. That kind of looked like Giannis. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh. Oh, don't do that. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Endgame Giannis is a point guard primarily. So actually, I knew that wasn't. But that still could have been Invincible Giannis. Nothing too crazy in this first wave. Hey, third dark matter. We got six packs left, so we're kind of on pace here. That's what we needed. I couldn't tell you who that is. I'm not even going to guess because I'm going to get it wrong. Looks like a magic point guard. Okay, C point guard. Ooh, Josh Giddy. It's actually a pretty damn good card. That's a nice budget card right there. Although I'm about to open 500 packs, so I'm not exactly looking for budget cards. The budget went out the window when I maxed out my mommy's third credit card. Hey! Dark Matter number four. We got to get five per bundle to stay on pace. That looked like Bulbul. Was that Bulbul? Wait, no way. That's fucking Endgame Bulbul. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know what Endgame Bulbul's primary position is, but hey, I'll take interdimensional Bulbul. But any Bulbul is good. Pack 20. Will this be a Dark Matter? It won't. All right, we got five Dark Matters in that box, which is exactly on par with what we need. 28% at those Dark Matters? I don't even want to know what the odds on an endgame is, though. They have to be horrible. This is the equivalent of taking all my MT and just kind of lighting it on fire, but it is what it is. Honestly, the only player who's, like, worth it is endgame when the... Ooh, that looked like Bill Russell. Could this be? Don't tell me it's endgame Bill Russell. It's not. It's going to be out of position. Oh! Stop. Stop cucking me. Let's real quick see everything that's like actually available. LaMelo Ball, Len Rice, Clay Thompson, Wilt Chamberlain, Clyde Drexler. Yo, well deserved. Garnett, Edwards, Book, Kawhi, Wembenyama, Manu, Tim Duncan. Oh, God. Holy shit. There's literally so many fucking good cards in here. And I'm rocking two Stephen Marbury's. Come on, man. Hey, Dark Matter. Talk to me, baby. Come on. First ever endgame. Dirk. Holy shit. Wait, it actually could be. If my first endgame is Dirk. Please. Please. Oh, dude, that is just. That would have been. Oh, I might have just ended the video, man. If my first endgame was Dirk. Yo, the back-to-back -back after Mr. Nowitzki, though. Who is that? I'm getting better figuring out who it is. Anderson Verizhow? I think. No, it's definitely not. That's not a Cavalier. That is a Cavalier. It's Anderson Verizhow. He ain't bad. Holy shit. The back-to-back-to-back? -to -back -to -back? The three-peat? Is this Michael Jordan? That's LaMelo. I don't want to get excited. There's so many LaMelo cards. There is an endgame LaMelo, though. I fucking knew it. Dude, there's Endgame Lamella and there's Invincible. And I go 16-bit. Come on. Oh, my God. The quad. The back to back to back to back. It's got to be an Endgame now. It's fucking Anderson Verichow again. I guess I'll take it. Can't be that mad about that. <laughs> oh, my God. I just went five straight 28%. I don't know the odds on that, but I might head to the nearest prizepicks.com. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, I saw the old Spurs logo. I was like, oh, that has to be for Endgame David Robinson. Bah! That's my first Dark Matter in about eight packs right there. Looks like Cade Cunningham. He does not have an Endgame. But if my first Invincible is Cade Cunningham, I'll be a happy camper. Does he even have a Dark Matter that isn't Invincible? Oh, turns out he does. Oh, what a great time to find that out. Fuck! Hmm. Is this the one? Wait a minute. Wait, what's that? What was that? Did I see that right? Durant? No. The goat. That's good news, boys. Poku is is a dog. Another Marbury. All right, place your bets right now, gentlemen. We've got three Stefan Marbury's. We've got three Anderson Verizhouse. Who's gonna come out on top as the most pulled player? At least most pulled dark matter. It could be a sleeper, though. I do have two Pokashevskis. I might have two of somebody else, too. I'm trying to think. But I'm going to keep a tally, boys. I got three Marbury's, three Verizhows, two Pokashevskis, and an Eastern Conference center from the Orlando Magic. A Shaq. I knew that wasn't a good Shaq because it was Magic. Magic Shaq. 
how the good shacks are Lakers. By the way, everyone, I am well aware that there is an end game option pack for 200,000 VC. By the way, I have three fucking million MT. Okay, I could go on the auction house and I could buy a full end game lineup right now. That is not the point. The point is to degenerately gamble. Why does nobody get that? This is this video is not sponsored by Prize Picks, but uh, I do have a fun fact for you. If you download Prize Picks and use my promo code MMG, you will get an $100 deposit match. So if you put in 100 bucks, they give you 100 bucks. That's all I'm going to say, all right? It's unrelated. Miami Heat, that's new. Wait a minute. Jimmy. Bruh. That is the first Miami Heat Dark Matter I know. That's actually kind of weird. Pack two. 100 our 200th pack dude we actually have a ridiculous amount of dark matters i still feel like i might be above odds or right on par with odds on that 28 percent we are 200 motherfucking packs in and i do not have a single end game or invincible that is a crime that's what i'll say slur alliums you gotta come fix my pack look out dude they're so dog water is the problem hi guys it's my housewife the video is 500 packs and you remember how i told you the the invincible cards and the end game cards are really good okay I'm 230 deep. I have pulled zero. Let me do one. Dude, if you pull one, I might actually be mad for how long I sat here. Okay, so here's the thing, though. Matt, it's wiggling. Here's the thing, though. It's getting a dark. It's I have I have pulled about seven. Oh! I've pulled about no, seven. No, I did it. I did it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Not yet, you didn't. Oh! It's no, got to be Invincible no. or Endgame, though. I pulled about 70 Dark Matters. They just haven't been Invincible or Endgame. Is it Kawhi Leonard? That was Shea Gilgis Alexander, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Who is not an Invincible or Endgame. But it's a nice pull. He's good. So every pack has a 28% chance, so a little bit better than one in four, to give you that dark matter, to give you that shake. And then out of those, you have to get invincible. It's a true gambling degenerate. I've gotten fucking zero. Is that insane? Why are they Hey, you're speaking my language, yo. Way too long, yo. An hour, an hour and 50 minutes. Cool. <laughs> Oh my god. Can't you tell how many friends I have? Can't you tell how great my social life is? He doesn't have one. <laughs> yeah, I do. I talk to Milker 1 and Milker 2 every night. <laughs> it has to be this pack. You can pull a different pack, but they're all damn near the same thing. Well, this one clearly isn't working. So, all right, let me see if there is a different pack. There's always another pack. Uh, there really isn't. Yes, there is. Endgame mm. option pack. Okay, so this would guarantee us a player. So why would you not? <laughs> I was explaining to them earlier that, yes, I can buy the endgame option pack, but how does that scratch my gambling degeneracy itch? I'm not a degenerate loser if I open that. You've been here for an hour and ten minutes and you just complained that you could get a pack where you could get a car. Why would you not pull that pack? That doesn't make for a very good video now, does it, Al? How can I get these stupid idiots to watch my video, give me ad revenue, degenerately opening these packs, if, if I'm just gonna open one fucking pack, that's a 30 second video. You know the RPMs on a 30 second video? Dog shit. This is for the editor and the editor only. Oh, oh scary. Oh, 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 shiver my timbers. You could just like, Matt could just open. Oh, did you get the new pack? What were you gonna say to the editor? <laughs> he could just edit it so that it looks like you pulled the original pack, but then you're actually pulling the pack where you're getting the option pack. Player. And doesn't... then you can go crazy. And they will never know. No, you know, they will. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. How can you, how can you fake this? Watch, okay? As we open no, this. No, you don't fake that. They just know. There's a walkout, though. The, the player There's walks out. Walkout. That's Dirk. That's Dirk. Ooh. It could be an end game. It's not. No, Dirk's... it could be. No, Dirk Dubitsky, the fucking go. <laughs> if it's Titans, Dirk, that sucks. It's Dallas, Dirk. He's, he's always no, Dallas, Dirk, Matt, Kenny. No, but I'm saying you could... There's always a walkout with every player, whether they're good or not. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Okay, at the end there, did you see when Titans Dirk wobbled in? Are you saying you could wobble in the end game? No, but if you're opening a pack where you're guaranteed an end game, it's gonna wobble like that. You you just edit the beginning and it looks like you you pulled the other pack. Do you know what I mean? When you open the option pack, they don't walk out like that. When you open the option pack, it literally just hands you the card. There is no walkout animation. Well, who's editing this? Severe. There Severe, is no, you can't handle there that? There is no <laughs> editor on planet Earth who can fake the walkout animation. Um, who makes hey, these you're, games? Hey, you're, you're, this is a, this who is makes a these games? fucking Ronnie 2 k EA bitch -ass. can do it. EA can edit it. What? So why can't Severe? Severe, e are you going to let EA be better than you? EA does not make this game. Oh. <laughs> Lakers 
LeBron. Is Lakers? Oh, it's playoffs LeBron then, right? What is this card? Not good. Try it. It's not good. No, listen. My eyes are shut hard. I know you didn't get it. Now you're lying. That is sparkling. They've never sparkled. They have. No, they have never sparkled before. Okay, let's pull every other card first. Okay. Okay, honey. It could be. Is this our first invincible end game? What are you doing? You can't look. All right. Okay. Who is it that we're looking for? Any invincible or end game? Like Giannis. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Ah. No. I don't know who that Let me is. See. Let me see. Let me see. Oh my God! It's Verizio. We're keeping a tally on this dude. That is the seventh Anderson Verizio. I wanted that to be so cool. I was gonna spin you around. It was really cool though. You want the next one? You got another one down there. It's it's far. I hate okay, to break it. Let's do this one more time. Oh. Dude, it's wiggling. Okay. Um, he looks kind of short. A center, number three, the Lakers. Oh. Oh, Anthony Davis is actually a dog. Dang, that would have got me. If I saw that, I would have thought it'd be an invincible AD. Isn't this whack? I don't know what it has happened in the past because I've pulled so many good cards in the past. It's just like, we're getting waxed. The good news is it's just MT, which I built up from Wheel of 2K anyway. So I'm not I'm not spending any real money, any additional real money, which is good. How much real money do you think this would be? If I have spent real money to open 500 packs, I can tell you the exact number. It's a hundred bucks for 450,000 VC. 450,000 VC would get you three of these. 20 packs each, 60. So it's about 70. You get about 70 packs for a hundred dollars. So 500 divided by 70 is basically seven and then a little bit more. It costs about $720. Do you know how much other things you could have bought? I didn't spend any real money on it. Well, you got the coins somehow. L, L, there's not a fucking, there's not a slot machine where I could stick my MT in and pull out 720 well, real life so dollars. MT? You obviously we bought stuff in the first place. Well, anyway. that was for Wheel of 2K. There's nothing I, I had to do Wheel of 2K. How much real money do you think you put into this game? Thousands of dollars. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like sickening. Oh my god. We could have. What would you do with thousands of dollars, though? Buy groceries? <laughs> Dude, we're we not. Don't have any groceries. We're not that poor. Dude, I'm what are you talking about? I literally starve every night in the dungeon. Yeah, well, and I that's got, where I got, all the money goes. I no got, groceries. <laughs> Guys, the only thing that can spice this up is if we get another Marbury, and then all of a sudden, Anderson Very Zhao is just in shambles because. Oh my god! <laughs> Every gambler quits before a big win. I was looking at this all confused because I knew that 16 bit Porzingis was a wizard. So when I saw Nick's number six. And then Pingus was walking out. In my head, I was like, oh my god, wait, it's an invincible. It's not an invincible! Bro, I don't even want to think about how disgusting Porzingis is at small forward. Endgame Porzingis at small forward. Yo! Pack number 318. 318 packs later, we get endgame Chris Stapp's Porzingis. It is possible, ladies and gentlemen. My packs are not juke. Coming to the latter end of 400 here, I think I just got another R.J. Barrett, though, which puts R.J. Barrett at three. I'm telling you, man, if somebody's going to be a sleeper, R.J. Barrett's just going to slide on up here. Not sure I can pull five more, but we're almost at 400. We got we got a Chris Stapps Porzingis to speak for it, but hilariously, I have no invincibles. I have an endgame. I have no invincibles. It's a big pack right here, boys. This is pack 420. This might be another Anthony Davis, but can I? No, this is just highlight reel. If it's Pelican. It can't be one of the good ones. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Highlighter. Spurs shooting guard number 20. I. Oh, Ginobili. Ooh! <laughs> My first invincible. You're kidding me. 435 packs later. Our first invincible is Manu Ginobili. We pull endgame Porzingis. I invincible Ginobili, by the way, is dog shit. This is one of the worst invincibles in the game. <laughs> But I love him. I like using Invincible Ginobili. He's, he's a dog. He's just, you know, he's not seven foot three, so he's not good. Thanks. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald 2000. But hey, I got an Invincible. Uh, we, we can't walk out of this video and say I didn't pull any Invincibles or I didn't pull any Endgames because I got both. Oh my God. No fucking way. Wait a minute. Oh! oh my God. Dude, 
dude, I saw the afro. And I was like, there's no way there's a dog shit Dr. J, right? Oh, oh my God. Yo, if you just take my last 200 packs, we are smooth sailing. If you just cut out the first 300, oh my God. Dude, with only 20 packs left, end game Julius Irving. Let's go. Nothing fancy in the last about 30. These are the final. Oh my God. These are the final three packs. We burnt about 4.5 million MT along with some VC there at the start. I wasn't sure I'd have enough MT for this, but I definitely do. I ended up selling back a lot of those extra galaxy opals and pink diamonds. So we definitely had the MT for this. <laughs> I just don't recommend doing it at home. Pack one is a whole lot of nothing. Pack two is a dark matter. Come on, baby. Second to last dark matter. Who is this? Oh, I definitely pulled this before. Oh, it's Shaq. It's, it's that um, Phenom Shaq. Is that what it is? Yeah, Phenom Shaq. I don't want to end on Phenom Shaq. Come on. Come on. 500th pack. You got to end me out right. You got to end me out right. Okay. Okay. It's a dark matter. And it is. Is it? Oh, it's the GOAT. That's how you end a pack opening. Alexei Pokashevsky. Let's go. All right, gentlemen, let's let's talk about this. 500 endgame packs later. Now, the odds are 28% for a dark matter, and we opened 500 packs. Statistically, we should have pulled 140 dark matters. Our final count was 137 dark matters. So we're slightly below odds, but honestly, I'm okay with that. That's very close. What I was probably most upset about is how many duplicates there were. We pulled seven Anderson Varejals, the most pulled player of the pack opening. This man right here. We pulled about three Anton Jamesons. Only one Big Georgie, but I'm happy to have him. We pulled two Giannis's. Pulled two Porzingis. Technically three, but they weren't both that one. Got one Bill Russell, got two Kawhi, got about three of the all-time LeBron, two highlight reel Anthony Davis, two interdimensional Tim Thomas. We got at least three Larry Johnson. We got three at least RJ Barrett, two of these all-star LeBrons, three of these Kobe's, three too many. Got multiple Titans Dirk. We got multiple Titans Ben Simmons, only one Luka. Got about five Marbury's. Two Bull Bulls. That was actually kind of surprising. I didn't expect to see that. Almost five. I think it was five Josh Giddies, five Alexei Pokashevskis. Got five Radiant David Robinson. I don't know where that came from, but I'll take it. And of course, the absolute best pulls from the opening. Very few and far between. If there's anything to take from this video, number one, I hope you were entertained. But two, don't open packs. Holy shit. I mean, this is unbelievable. I got Endgame Julius Irving after 480-something packs. Like, he... He saved the end of that opening just by existing. And if I were to sell him, he's maybe 110,000 MT, which is absurd because 11 packs is 110,000 MT. Now, the one truly very, very good pull is the seven foot three Latvian small forward. That is Chris Stapp's Porzingis endgame. This was after about 300 packs. We did get endgame Porzingis. So I'm happy to have him. And the only, the single only invincible is fucking Manu Ginobili. I, dude, I don't even want to talk about these odds, but okay, let's pretend. So 137 dark matters and two of those dark matters were end games, okay? So first you have to hit the 28% chance to get a dark matter. And using my sample size of 500, you have a 1.4% chance after hitting 28% of getting an end game. And honestly, I think I might've pulled past odds on end game. I think I really only should have pulled one that puts your effective odds at an end game per pack at 0.28%. So every single time you open an end game pack, just using my sample size of 500, which isn't a spectacular sample size, it puts your odds of pulling an end game at 0.28%. Every one of these is fucking horrible. Hey, listen though, I'm not gonna lie to you. That starting five is nice. That's a nice starting five. It's all season eight cards and then the end games. Manu doesn't even fit into the starters. Josh Giddy is a great starting point guard at 6'8". Pokashevsky is so... This guy's so good. He's literally so good. Obviously, Porzingis could go at small forward too, but I'd rather have him at the power forward. And then you got seven foot, what? Seven foot seven, Big Georgie, and end game, Dr. J. That ain't a bad starting five. That's not bad. Hey, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.